Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Hopalong Cassidy. Original air date is October 13th, 1951, and the title is Gunfighter in Short Pants. Let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? Well, it's one called Gunfighter in Short Pants and began one morning as California and I are on our way back to the Bar 20... After delivering some brood mares to a rancher near Albuquerque, New Mexico, we'd crossed a range of low mountains and stopped to water our horses at the headwaters of Yaki Creek. California was proving himself a giant in the field of tall tales. So far, I'd listened to his exploits with Wild Bill Hickok, Wyatt Earp, and Bat Masterson. Then he worked up to Sheriff Pat Garrett. Hoppy, uh, you'll never believe it, but Pat and me was closer than two armadillos in one shell. <laughs> Why, Pat, he depended on me plum total. Uh, how do you think he got his reputation? Well, shooting Billy the Kid helped a little. Yeah, sure, sure it did. Only who do you think really shot the kid? <laughs> oh, now wait, California. <laughs> me. California Carlson, that's who. <laughs> Two gun Carlson in them days, deadliest gunslinger west of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Sit tight, you two. Or I'll put the next one on the seat of Grandpappy's britches. Grandpappy? Well, uh, Grandpappy? Why, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll... Hop it. Well, you're gone. It's just a boy. Yeah. Hey, son, aren't you a little young to be so unfriendly? I'll be 14 come spring. Why are you here? Oh, we were just watering our horses and getting ready to move on. You're ready. Yes, young un, you're acting mighty smart. Smarter than you, you, you whiskered old armadillo. Armadillo? Uh, why, 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 I'm smarter. I, 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 I got plenty of brains. Yeah? In which head? Uh, why, I'll... California, stop it. Good thing. One more move toward me and I'd have bored him. Grandpappy, armadillo. Which head? Hoppy, a man's got to draw the line someplace. Not when our rifle's pointing at his breakfast, he doesn't. Say, hey, uh, you've been crying, haven't you, son? Ain't been crying. Only women crying, I'm a man. Now you get where are you? Uh-oh. You two stick. Man needs help when a woman's around. Beasley! What are you doing with that rifle? Who are these men? How many times I gotta tell you my name's Bean? And I reckon Pappy don't need his rifle now, so it's mine. Bean. I'm sorry. But you should be home. I ain't no kid. Stop fussing over me like an old hand. Miss, uh, I'm Hopalong Cassidy. How do you do? I'm Maud Allen. Uh, this is California Carlson. Is there anything wrong? Uh, maybe we can help. <sighs> no, I guess not. Oh, this is Beasley. Dean Donnerwell. His father was... Passed away a few days ago, and I've been staying to take care of him. Happy didn't pass no place. He was killed by that devil, Drago. Bean! It's true. And I don't care if Drago has been sparking you. He swore to get Pappy for settling on the headwaters of Yaki Creek. 
So he shot him in the back. Pappy was a good man. Always treated me fine. Never even made me go to school. Nah, don't cry, Beans. Maybe we can help you. I ain't crying. I ain't. No, no, of course she ain't. Ah, uh, poor little kid. Uh, I didn't savvy. Uh, you know what? You can ride my horse back to your house. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Uh, I'll do worse than kick next time. Now back up, all of you. Son, waving that gun around won't bring your dad back. Maybe it won't, mister, but... But I guess that... But I'm the only down the world left now. Not very old. But I'm big enough to see that Drago don't get away with shooting my pappy. But that's for the law to handle, son. Now put the gun down. I ain't arguing the point. You all stay put until I'm out of sight. Got no reason to shoot you. I sure will if you try and stop me. Beans, what are you going to do? I'm going to take my rifle and pappy's binoculars and pack into the hills. Where I can watch Drago's house. You can warn him for me. The first time I catch him riding alone, I'm going to bushwhack him. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Gunfighter in Short Pants. Hoppy in California, stopping to rest their horses at the headwaters of Yaki Creek, were confronted by Dean Donnerwell, a 13-year-old boy whose father had just been killed by an unknown assailant. They try to calm down the angry boy, but keeping them with the point of his rifle, Dean runs off, intent on taking his own vengeance on Drago, the man he believes responsible for his father's death. Uh, Hoppy, are we going to chase that little monster? He might shoot someone. Uh, it won't help matters to have the kid taking shots at us. No, Beans just needs time to cool off. Then we can make him understand it's wrong to take the law into his own hand. Well, this is just dandy. A fine pair of men afraid of a little boy. With a great big gun? Yes. That rifle's man-sized. And I reckon his corpses would be, too. Hoppy is right. Miss Maud, did Drago threaten Donnerwell? Well, yes. But Donnerwell was deliberately trying to cause trouble, settling on this quarter section around the headwaters of Yaki Creek. He told Drago he'd dam off the creek the first time Drago made him mad. The creek feeds the entire range below? Drago own it? Practically. But Drago's no back shooter. Hmm, if Donnerwell was in a position to ruin him, I'd say the kid was right. Drago killed to save his water supply. He didn't. Oh, you're awful, both of you. First you're afraid to trail the boy, now you're accusing an innocent man. Oh, now, look, Mr. Maud, we were... I heard you, and you'd better ride on before Drago hears it. You ain't giving us a chance to explain. I heard all I want to hear. Hey, wait. uh, Come back. Uh, It'll be dangerous to trail the kid uh, while he's riled up. I wonder when I'll learn not to argue with women. Uh, ain't you sort of unconcerned about being called a coward? Oh, the girl's excited. We'll do something more practical. We'll warn this Mr. Drago to keep his nose indoors for a few days. By that time, maybe Beans will be hungry enough to come home. <laughs> I hope this Drago is more gentle than the rest of the people in this country. If a boy and a gal are as unfriendly as we found them, what's a man going to be like? <laughs> we'll soon know. Drago should appreciate being warned anyway. I hope you're right. I hate being buried. There's a mistake. Well, here's his ranch house. I wonder if he's home. Hello in there. Yes, Regis. What's your pleasure? We have a message for Mr. Drago. You him? No. But you can tell me. Sorry. I'd like to see Drago personally. Oh? You the law? Nope. You got nice guns. On the Dodge. 
Where's Drago? Maybe you're riding grub line. And maybe we're Apaches in the war path. Uh, but we ain't. Well, lawyer, what have we here? A gunslinger and a stove-up cowpoke. Tramps, by my guess. I'm Hopalong Cassidy. This is California Carlson. If you're Drago, we got a warning for you. Huh. Advance guards for the nesters, huh? Get rid of them, lawyer. You got the wrong burr under your saddle. We're not from any nesters, but a kid who's waiting to bushwhack you. You don't hear so well. Drago wants you to leave. Wait. Go on, Cassidy. Who's the kid? You can guess. Dean's Donnerwell. He thinks you shot his father. Dean? You mean... <laughs> oh, no. You're warning me about a kid in short pants. <laughs> me, Drago, being threatened by a dirty-faced brat. <laughs> Say, that's a rich one. <laughs> All right, stay on. Not you bellow like a sick buffalo. Why, well, your yelling gets annoying after a while. I don't know why I stick around. You like to eat, that's why. Cassidy Carlson, my nephew, Junior Holland. Hi. Howdy. Oh, my pleasure, gentlemen. I'm holding a baile tomorrow night, Cassidy. It's Junior's birthday. I reckon you've earned an invite. Thanks, but all we came for was to be sure you wouldn't go riding where beans might take a shot at you. No ragtail kid is scaring me into a hole. I ride where and when I please. But you can tell him I didn't part his old man. Much as I hated the cuss for getting me over the barrel. Why did he settle up there? Even if he did have you where he wanted you, he couldn't take advantage of it. He couldn't. But the nesters that he was the leader of could... He was going to force me to let them settle part of my ranch. Well, it's open range. They could settle it anyway. Not without a whale of a fight, they couldn't. Old Donnerwell knew I'd run the nesters off unless he had a way to keep me still. All right, come on, California. We have to warn a boy about a man. Poppy, we've been looking for that kid for five hours. It's getting dark, and I'm so plumb to my bad temper. Yeah, we got to find him, California. With Drago acting bullheaded, we have to get the boy. I only hope he doesn't shoot before we can talk to him. You're real inspiring company. If we're lucky, he's going to... Dismount! Find cover! Oh! Oh! Don't shoot! We're friends! Uh, keep your head down. No, I'm glad you thought of that. And put that gun up. We're not shooting at scared boys. I was just a half net for comfort, that's all. Hey, he's, uh, quite... Wait a minute. Maybe he's reloading. Beans! Beans! No answer. Maybe he's mad at us. I... Poppy, your arm, your head. Ah, uh, just a flesh wound. I'm all right. I guess our friend has left for good. One way to be sure, though. Hobby! Hey, get down, you darned idiot! Ah, he's gone. Looks like we won't get to talk to Bean. Blasted hero. Someday you're going to give me heart failure, you fooling a trick like that. And what's... Uh, oh, I'll look out, he's behind us. Hiya, fellas. Hi, uh, uh, hi fellas. Hoppy, did you hear him? He empties a Winchester at us and comes in to say, uh, uh, hi, fellas. I didn't empty no Winchester. I heard the shooting and came to see who was doing it. Beans, are you sure? Well, if you didn't, who did? If I'd emptied my rifle, you two would have been dead. Honest, Mr. Cassidy, I, I ain't really a gunfighter. The only hombre I'd shoot at is a man who shot Pappy. Ever think you may be hunting down the wrong man, Dean? I can't say I like Drago much, but he doesn't look like a cowardly bushwhacker. I got proof. I ain't short it to nobody, but I got it. Look at this. I found it next to Pappy's body. A gold watch, Bob. Drago's name worked in it. 
Yeah, that's pretty good proof, I guess. Now, look here. Yeah, someone sliced through that soft gold. It didn't break off. It was planted by someone. It still could have been Drago. Yeah, it could. But does it figure that a smart hombre like Drago would leave his signature like this? Maybe so, maybe not. What's your interest, anyway? Let's say I like seeing the law handle things. It's the only right way. Will you give us a couple of days, Beans? You're going to investigate Pappy's death? That's right. Believe me, son, we're on your side. I understand how you feel. I think maybe you do. You're about the first man that didn't treat me like dirt. Because Pap is... was a nester. Just two days. And when we find the bushwhacker, we'll talk about how he should be punished. The promise? I promise. I won't do nothing for, for two days. Good. Now you go home and get dried off. Let's go, California. Uh, oh, uh, here comes Miss Maud. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. Carlton. Evening, Miss Maud. Well, what? <laughs> yes, the black eye. Should have taken your advice and not trail Bean. Well, 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 what happened? I caught him. Tried to take his gun away, and he poked me one. Served me right. <laughs> he was pretty worked up. Hello there, Hoppy, California. Uh, did I hear you mention Beans Donnerwell? Yeah, why? Oh, I just caught sight of him hanging around outside. What? I'd better find Drago quick. Well, he's on the terrace. <laughs> the side porch to you. I've heard the word. Eh? Well, uh, I was afraid English was becoming the new dead language. Stay here, California. I'll find Drago. Tell Miss Maud how you shot Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Why, well, I thought Pat Garrett shot him. Drago, you better come inside a minute. What for? Come on and join me for a smoke. It's not safe out here. Oh, now, don't tell me I'm about to be shot. Drago! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Gunfighter in Short Pants. Hoppy obtained young Dean Donnerwell's promise to do nothing about revenging his father's death for two days while Hoppy investigated. But the next night, Beans was seen outside Drago's house shortly before Drago was shot by someone out in the dark. Fortunately, Drago was only wounded when the bullet glanced from a silver concho on his vest. And now, in his bedroom, Hoppy is talking to him. You're a lucky man, Drago. How do you feel? I'm all right, except for a sore side. What is all this nester talk? Donna Well was the leader of a bunch of Tennessee farmers. Oh, not enough to be dangerous to me. At least not until he took over the headwaters of Yaki Creek. Someone tipped him that I'd never settle that piece of land. Well, where are the nesters now? Over at the county seat, where the sheriff can protect them. I reckon they'll be moving in on me pretty quick. <laughs> I'll get a warm reception. We'll take care of it. I didn't shoot nobody. I came. I was just watching the party. I didn't shoot nobody. I just let me go. Hey, Drago, we got the kid. Take the little ragamuffin into Cedarville and lock him in that old jail. Then send the Donna Anna for the sheriff. Right. Good, they caught him. A few pace for putting that slug into me. Hey, get away from my coat. Oh, what the... Uh, oh, uh, sure, sure. Cassidy, if you try to cross me, I'll stick my whole outfit on you. Jail, you know what 
to do, California? Sure, I ought to run like blazes. Hoppy, I'll never get to be 40 if traveling with you. <laughs> if you see 40 again, you'll back up to it. But you saw how someone stirred up a drunken mob to lynch beans before the sheriff gets here. Yeah, funny how easy it is to stir up hate. I uh, wish it was as easy to make folks love. Life would be a heap more peaceful. Oh, stop grumbling and stand guard. I'll get the boy. Sure, sure, stand guard. Just to rescue that shin-kicking, gun-coating, ornery little porcupine. Hey, no, oh, good just... morning. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, morning, uh, Miss Maud. Uh, goodbye, Miss Maud. Why, <laughs> Mr. Carlson, you look nervous. Anything wrong? No, 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 of course not. I know. You're worried about the boy. So am I. He hasn't a friend in the world. I wouldn't say that exactly, ma'am. But it's true. The way that mob is shouting up the street. Someone should take the boy out of town to Donna Anna. Oh, no sane man would try a stunt like that. Uh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carlson. Be careful. Sure. I'm a trying as best I can. California coast clear? Yeah, but hurry. I had to tie up the jailer. Come on, Bean. Here's your horse. Quick, Hoppy. That mob spotted us. Just right. What you stopping for, Hoppy? Hop ahead. A bunch of wagons and riders coming this way. It's Pappy's friends. They're coming from down the Ah, uh, We've lost the gang back there. You wait here. I'll check up ahead. Stranger, fighting kind of hard, aren't you? My name's Hopalong Cassidy. From that star on your vest, I'd say you were the sheriff of Donna Anna County. Yeah. You need a one? Yeah, I got a prisoner back there. The little one. <laughs> it looks uh, like about a half a prisoner. Uh, that's Beans Donnerwell. Why, that's it. Are these nesters, Sheriff? Uh-huh. Planning on settling in Yaqui Valley? Drago's going to fight to keep them out. They'll have guards posted. Drago's men will slaughter these farmers. I reckon that's why I'm riding with them. I aim to see they get a fair shake. They don't? Well, I'll speak my piece. I have an idea that might prevent this war if you can give me a little time. Listen, the good hunch Drago will take over Cedarville and make his stand there. He'll figure to try and trap them. Looking for Hoppy? Why'd we circle town? Uh, from this knoll, I can watch how Drago's stationing his men. Uh oh. There goes Drago himself into the hotel. That's what I wanted to see. Come on. Hey, what about me? You ought to stay here, Beans. This is a two man job. And now we try to draw Drago's fangs. That is his men. We just ask him polite like to quit Drago, I suppose. No, here's the plan. We'll split at that building. You go up the alley behind one row of buildings, I'll take the other. So far as I could tell, all the Drago's men are on the rooftops except those in the hotel. Uh, so far I'm with you, Hoppy, but I got the feeling you're about to lose me. Uh, you take one side, I take the other, huh? And behind each building you stop and yell so a man or men stationed on the roof can hear you. Yell of what? Uh, boo? Well, you pretend you're one of Drago's men talking to someone. You yell something like this. Gold! They found gold on Yaki Creek. I'm on my way, Sam. Let those other suckers stay here and fight if they want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. But, Hoppy, when they look down, they, they won't... Uh... They'll see nothing. You duck around the next building as soon as you yell. Meet you at the hotel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. I have had a good life. Up till now. <laughs> Don't 
Okay, that ye, lawyer. We don't shoot till the nesters have been warned and their families are out of range. So you told me a dozen times. I... Ah, the heck with it. I've had enough psalm singing. I'm going up on the roof where I can have some privacy. Hello, Lark. Seems to me you aren't very happy about this chance to get rid of the nesters. Maybe I'm not. But I can't back down now. Uh Uh-oh. It won't be long now. Look up the road. Here they come. I wish there was another way. There is. Just that real quiet. Huh? What Keep you covered, mean? California. I'll collect their hardware. All right, Hoppy. Keep those hands up, you two. Hey, what's the idea? I'm not carrying a hideout. I, my rifle's there against the wall. Just have to search you and make sure. Now you, Drago. There's mine. Don't bother to search me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're thinking of your men, forget it. They're gone. What? You're, you're bluffing. Am I? Then this should bring them running. Bring! Luke Blackie Ryan! Bobby! I think his saddle just come on since. Drago, my hunch you're a tough but misguided hombre. You want to listen to how you've been uh, the intended victim all along? I'm hardly in a position to argue, cowboy. Well, first, Donna Well was tipped to come in and settle on the source of Yaki Creek, giving you a good motive to kill him. Two, Donna Well was killed and your watch fob planted by him. Fiends found it and kept it secret. Three, failing to get you hung for Donna Well's murder, the killer tried direct action, taking advantage of the boys being seen outside the house. Still trying to say the boy didn't shoot me, huh? He didn't. When the killer found he'd only wounded you, he again tried to plant a clue pointing to you. Isn't this a little roundabout just to get me? Yeah, it is. And it's what gave the killer away. There's only one person who stood to profit so obviously by your death that he had to make sure no one could suspect. Your heir. Why, Unc, he means me. (laughs) I never even met Donnerwell. Drago, take a look in Junior's coat pocket. Huh? Sure. But it's silly to... What's this? What? Donna Will's wallet. But how... Cassidy, why, you put it there. Yeah, when I searched her. It was a dirty trick, wasn't it? A stupid trick, if you ask me. There. You have no proof. No. You never met Donna Well. How did you know it was his wallet? It's unmarked. I? Why? 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 You said... You dirty snoop. You kept your nose out. But I won't take all the blame. Oh. He's been shot. Who did it? Come then, you two. It serves the sniveling skunk right. He was smart enough to have the ideas, but I had to do his dirty work for him. You can't get away, Greg. <laughs> I'll get away. But first, I'm going to kill the three of you. To set you up for good. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. You all right, Mr. Cassidy? Ah, thanks to your disobedience and quick shooting, Beans. Did you kill him? No. I kept thinking about what you said. You know, the law taking care of it and all. I just put a slug in both his arms so he couldn't shoot, and another in his leg to make him sit down. Some shooting. Uh, someday I'll tell you about how I shot Billy the Kid. Oh, he was a fair shot himself and, and spunky just like you. Beans... I owe you an apology. I accuse you of what my own nephew was guilty of. I... I'm sorry, son. Reckon I made the the same kind of mistake, Mr. Drago. We can both thank Mr. Cassie for setting us straight. We sure can. Uh, Bean, do you have any plans? Me? No. Guess I'll try and get me a job somewheres. Come over here with me, Bean. 
I think you've got a place to go. Maybe after more than I are married. You might even like to try us out as your new folk. She. Uh, Poppy, where'd you get Donner Wells' wallet? Junior planted in Drago's coat the night he was shot. I saw it and thought I'd return the favor. Hey, hey, what was the shooting? Oh, what's this? Well, it's the war over. Where's Drago's man? Hello, Sheriff. Ah, uh, you can stop worrying. Drago will let the nester settle in peace. I'll tell you about it in a minute, but first, uh, meet my partner, California Carlson. He's the one who really shot Billy the Kid, you know. Oh, well, how interesting. Uh, I thought it was Pat Garrett. That's cause I let Pat take the credit. We was pard, uh, Pat and me was. Uh, uh, what's your moniker, Sheriff? Garrett. Pat Garrett. Sure, glad to meet, uh, oh, uh, Hoppy. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.